Liquidy versus Sue, uh, both massive players, so I think this will be a really exciting series. Uh, I think both are pretty even as well on uh, the same skill, so uh, we're gonna be going into that next. Uh, Squiddy just uh, be right back here and we'll get started. Um, so, yeah, uh, I think Squiddy just came from a uh, pretty Intense series from Steve uh, versus Steve Brown that managed to take a game from him, which is uh, pretty amazing to be honest. So, very well done to Steve Brown. Sorry for silence there. I just went to get some water. Uh, so, we're pumped up for this series. Gotta get the hype going. All right, all right. Uh, so yeah, um, let's see here, um, uh, how is the bracket going otherwise, uh, in the upper bracket we can see that we have, oh, Black Sword fell out to Sue, and that's pretty surprising actually, um, must have been a good game, two good games, uh, I'm assuming, uh, the exit pretty good. Alexander got really lucky, I got uh, two buys, so he's in the quarterfinals. It's gonna be meaning either Nick DK or Gero Medic. Um, so yeah, um, exciting stuff, exciting stuff. Um, and then um, if we look at the um, other part of the upper bracket, yeah, we have Kaysen advancing into O over Perp. That's well done. And then um, we have Storkos gonna be facing Juo. Uh, I think that would be. Uh, Pretty even, but I would expect Sorcus to come out of there. Um, um, All right, um, uh, and then this Raid Rider versus Salke, that's probably going to be pretty exciting as well. Uh, Game Richie is going to be finishing up versus Subarat mode for likely soon, I think. Or they were in the second game uh, when I checked last. Um, then it's uh, going to be... Let's see here, I guess so, yeah. Uh, I would expect <laughs> Gamerishi to <laughs> win versus Dider most likely, mm -hmm. but I, I do believe in Dider, of course. Uh, no distress in him, of course. Uh, but yeah, for those that don't know, Gamerishi is a GM, so he's pretty good. Um, let's see here. Um, but yeah, uh, so there might be some exciting matches coming up, like Kaysen versus Dorcas, I think be be a really good one. Um, then potentially like Salkia versus Gamer Richie, I'm definitely gonna try to cast that one because I think that will be very exciting. Um, potentially uh, Alexander Fresh versus Nick as well, that might be a really good match as well. Um, Let's hope we can catch uh, some of those at the times a uh, while. Well, maybe that we can get directly into from this one from Squiddy Two into Alexander Refresh versus Nick. Um, so. Right. Um, and thanks everyone for tuning in, by the way. Um, Awesome to see so many uh, finding their way in here, even though I'm not uh, directly on Taw TV. Uh, my bad, uh, the key wasn't working, so I had to pose through there instead. Um, but yeah, uh, we're getting into this. Let's do it. Simba versus Suon. A PVT. Hype. Alright. So let's see here, it's the best of three. Uh, um, yeah. Players are opening up with good luck, have fun. So, yeah, in the bottom right corner, we got Mr. Simba representing Tall and Product, I guess. 
or well, most people, or everyone here will be representing Tom, but yeah, uh, in some regard, I, if nothing else, they're all Tom members, so yeah. Uh, and in the top left corner, we've got our very own FS from StarCraft, it's Zuon playing Terran. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, see a gas first here from Zuon, switching it up right away. Very nice to see. While Squid is doing the more standard gateway opening uh, with N Simulator. So yeah. Um, exciting stuff, exciting stuff. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's see what, what is uh, he can follow up with. Um, so the early gas is that for. You won't get a Reaper out any earlier, you can get a Factory earlier though. Uh, this might indicate maybe some kind of drop, maybe with the Mine or Hellion. Um, not sure. Um, yeah, uh, the Squid is taking his Nexus here, uh, pretty standard time. Um, gonna get the side. Oh, we got the side cord off with the Nexus actually. It might be a bit risky in a PvT to be honest. Um, since the Reaper comes out earlier then I might get some probe. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, there is a Reaper on the way from Zuin here. Um, not really taking use of that early gas yet uh, that he got, but maybe the factory is coming. It might be also that if he goes the early gas he might ha not have uh, to go the second gas uh, or something this soon. Uh, not sure, uh, but yeah, that might be. Uh, but yeah, CC on the way, so friendly macro um, oriented builds here. Uh, so yeah. Like by sure what's that bad. Uh alright. See he's gonna message here on team speak and he's gonna see you. Uh Oh Red Rider Bomb versus Elkia. Whoa, that's that's some intense stuff man. Oh well done. Well done, well done indeed. Uh, so yeah, that that throws that bracket into a bit of a spin. Uh, so yeah, I will see Mr. Simba here dodging with his stalkers from the bridge birds patrolling outside his base. Uh, and we'll look what's actually building here. We got a Stargate on the way. I'm gonna be popping an Oracle soon, and then there's two gateways on the way on the soon side of things here. We are uh, looking at a factory here. Um, um, a Stargate, and there is a tech lab in the factory, most likely uh, some siege tanks coming up there. Um, yeah, fairly standard opening. Um, so yeah, we have the work only out here now. Um, gonna see when it comes in here what damage it can get done. Um, Oh, not intermarines. Good, good. Um, oh, oh, the mineral line. Oh, the mineral line. No, no. But due to the nerf of the oracle, uh, not as many kills as you would expect. I think that was uh, maybe no. That was not the correct key. Uh, but yeah, like uh, a few uh, SCVs going on and going down there. Um, uh, we have what well, was it for you? It's not that was shipped out. Alright, there we are. It was free going down. Nice. And the Reaper uh, got one pro from uh, Simba earlier. Oh, uh, but we do have the with the or Marine uh, Cyclone drop incoming here. But there are Phoenixes in the way. No. 
Oh, that medevac isn't getting out of there. So, yep, yeah, just drop down the payload, I guess. And we'll get some as much damage done as possible. Nicely done on the focusing there. Uh, they were not in range. Or he was not in range. Oh, he left the cyclones down. Oh, I'm good, there we are. Now it's shut down. Well done. Um, not taking too much damage there. Uh, being on three bases behind this, so I'm just taking his fire. Uh, so yeah, um, Simba is going to get far, far ahead here. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, Simba is uh, corresponding to Squiddy. Uh, so yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, let's. Was some tagging going on there with the oracles uh, on the other side of the map, um, and then we have yeah, some barracks coming down here to support. Um, my block here from soon. Uh, we'll fix that very soon. Um, double force coming down, so double upgrades will come out, and then there is of course the six gateways here uh, that you can produce uh, salos from. Uh, shortage is almost done here, so yeah, and soon won't be able to hit before the charge comes out, I'm afraid. So yeah, he will have to wait for that uh, to time out and then um, try to do some damage after that. Um, these oracles are playing a bit... Doesn't tagging work when they're in stasis? Oh, that's so, that's so insane. <laughs> it doesn't work. Uh, they're apparently invulnerable to stuff like that as well. I thought tagging would be one of those, but it might not be. But he got the tag on the rest, so he knows exactly where the army is over here. Uh, Reaper is still patrolling here, so he knows there is no fort taking, I guess. Game yep. falls. Pawns from Squid here. Um, Alright, so yeah, a uh, bit of a break here. Uh, <laughs> and after Red Rider just realized who he was facing in the next round, so amazing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, Red Rider will try to cover some streaming um, in the meantime. Uh, while he's waiting for the winner of the Dervish Gaming Ritual. Um, Alright, some pro admin observing fish there. <laughs> yes, Alright, we got Ropa coming down here as well, so I guess transition into Colossus after uh, doing like a push with Salot thing to be the port here from Squiddy. Uh, oh, oh, Oracles, something very dangerous here. Yeah. I guess it's fine. You got a tag off there, uh, so he knows exactly what. Are we would doing, which is very good for him, of course. Um, double machine battery here at the front. Um, yeah, some more upgrades coming along here for Squiddy on the double floor she has. Um, while at home, Sue on the east and he's not on 2 2 yet. Oh, army engagement. Oh, all the salads. Uh, rip. They can't really pick up because the Phoenix is so coming! Wait a minute now, though. Uh, but yeah, like, due to the Widow Machine, like, it opens up a little bit of pushes like this, since you can't really uh, afford to get that real well with Observer uh, as easily. Uh, as you would have had to before when the windways were <laughs> remaining hidden by the Um so yeah, sorry about that. Each arm there. Um But yeah, uh we have the Reaper still <laughs> patrolling over there. Uh so we know that Suen is definitely not using any F2 shenanigans. So very good to know. Um so yeah, Simba took uh, the control here of the watchtowers, uh, so he knows exactly what Suen's army is moving here, and he can keep an eye on it 
with that tag now. Oh, he's moving into the fourth here. Uh, but yeah, as it's got scout that he should be able to shut this down. Um, he has a lot of Phoenix and uh, an Archon. We should have the much getting out of this. Oh, 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 reinforcements though. Might be able to deal with the Phoenixes here pretty efficiently. Uh, Archon still on high ground. Um, so yeah, wall down my lawn. Um, Let's see, attack. Oh, wait, there's a drop. There's a drop. Nice, Ledamba's turn here. Uh, Rashid Batter's in the way here, though, and the cannon as well. No. This could have done a lot more. No. He's gonna get shut down now. Oh, but he's coming into the bird here. Or fourth, I mean. Uh, nice with my hint. But will it be enough? So much of an arc. Oh well, not yet. Soon. And there is no proper like medevac support because it's getting sniped and sniped and sniped from the phoenixes all over again. The marines are going down so fast. Oh, it is back up. Oh. Yeah, I think Sivan has might might have stretched his forces a bit too thin here. Reinforcements are coming over here, uh, and he's getting some Vikings up to deal with these uh, Phoenixes, so we can um, keep some. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no worries for me. Um, it's my me that's keeping the channels up open uh, in case someone needs help or something like that. So yeah, we're gonna have some uh, chat pop in uh, during the game. Uh, but yeah, uh, I will remove that to go later into the tournament. Um, but yeah, awesome stuff here, Mr. Suan is gonna snipe one? Only one though, the oracles. Um, do have a move out here from Simba. Uh, feels like... Yeah, it was a late transition there of probes and stuff to the floor. Uh, I think we probably have done that a bit earlier. Uh, there is a Colossus coming out now, uh, so far only one. Uh, if the Thermal lands, he just finished up that film. Uh, oh, this is a nice fire tour. Um, uh, rep. Uh, I think this might be where he breaks him. Yep, Colossus now at the wall. Yeah, that's what he <laughs> I know, Historicus, I know. Richie has helped out admin during the tournament, so uh, he's very deserving of that mod. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, like, uh, awesome stuff. Um, let's see here. Hmm. Channel switch. Yeah, man. Uh, hey. I'm casting the Squid versus uh, Sua match. Was that what, what you said? Never mind. Or mm, what? Were you gonna join the Squid versus Sua? Or no, I'm no. in. I'm casting one right now. All right, awesome stuff. Just wanted yep. to check. Good game. Dream us up, time. Channel switched. All right, there you are. Right, we're getting into the second game here. Uh, I'm not gonna be playing, but Simba will. Dead anytime. Yep, there we are. Oh, section as well. Right. Careful for the Van Hammer boys. You never know which section. He must, might go ham. <laughs> uh, no problem. I'll give him two minutes. 
Um, but get going. Uh... User joined your channel. Emma. Hello. Nice. I'm getting a coke tester. Awesome. Uh, how are you doing in your games? Uh, by the way? I'm doing well so far. <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna go up against oracles after this. Ah, cool. I've been giving Stu on some tips here before the game. We've been playing a lot together and discussing. Tactics. Mm, nice, nice. Before, so I'm really hoping for him, but I'm gonna try to stay neutral while I'm casting. Yeah, yeah, cool. Sounds good, man. We're just waiting here for Simba. He said he needed uh, one or well, two minutes, but that's one minute to go. We're still now, so we'll probably get into this very soon. Um, Yeah, and then yeah, yeah, that might be actually a good transition after this uh, that I join uh, yours and Storka's game. Yeah, sure. Depending on if it goes to the next game, uh, you might have to play one and then uh, join for the next one. So uh, we'll see how we do it. Uh, oh yeah. If Squiddy Kings come back today, <laughs> ah, there we are. It's back. Uh, Alright, keep going. But yeah, like, I, I don't know exactly how Soon should approach this matchup as, like, Simba is playing, uh, playing a bit orthodox, I would say. Uh, I was talking with him earlier, and I saw Simba is getting a way earlier third, and then going for Colossus yeah. Zealot. And Colossus Zealot is very punishing if you attack into him, he will always bleed out units when you try to retreat. Yeah, so I think right. Suon should try to get with the mines and uh, keep his forces together and only attack when he feels he has a good punch and not just go in with a few units at a time because he will take very bad trades. Yeah, exactly. From the, uh... Well, I should have asked <laughs> soon, maybe, but yeah, uh, I assume it's running. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, judging from so, the first game, did you see it on stream or? Yes, I, I did. All right, cool. Uh, so yeah, like I think like the biggest mistake was a bit like pushing a bit uh, with two small forces, um, but like otherwise, I think he did pretty well. Uh, he did have good macro and stayed up in supply a lot. Yeah. Even uh, being behind in uh, army or economy, I mean. Yeah. So I expect him to try to keep his forces together and uh, be a lot, be aggressive after getting his economy up. Yeah. So this seems to also well. Anyway, cool, cool. Um, so yeah, in the bottom right corner we got Mr. Simba uh, up one zero uh, now. Uh, if soon can bring it back. And in the top left corner we have Suon. Pipe, pipe, pipe. Um, so yeah. Um, do you know the thought process b behind the uh, gas first, by the way? I was thinking about that the last uh, time. It might be for early cyclones if he puts down a factory before the reactor and then switches over. Yeah. It's something uh, Terrence have been trying lately. Like, if you look at innovation, he will try using Cyclones against uh, Protoss. Yeah. This with limited success, but still trying things out. It really helps if the Protoss goes uh, offensive with some early aggression. But if he goes for uh, early third base or just macros at home, it's not that good. No, yeah. But I expect him to maybe get the gas first to get uh, early 1-1-1 or maybe a mind drop. Yeah. I still think that's viable. 
Yeah, so... I was a bit surprised, like, I guess maybe the, in the meta are changing a bit, but like, yeah, that Squiddy actually goes Nexus and then Cyber. Uh, because like, it, the, it allows the Reaper to actually get some kills. Uh, I think the Stalker, if you current it out, will be out in time. Alright. I think it's yeah. fairly standard to go Cyber after Nexus. Alright, cool. Uh, so yeah, it gets so... in here with a good scout, sees no gas. Yeah. Uh, or... Yeah, and the Reaper got a bit delayed by doing that as well. So, so I should probably get up his factory here now, in a second. Yeah. So he or maybe he's trying to go for an early third, who knows. Oh, yeah. Yes, there's the third base. Then the early gas makes a little bit less sense, I guess. Yeah. So it's very important to keep this Reaper alive here. It will force the Stalker to stay at home. But it looks like he will push across the map with the Stalker anyway. Yeah, yeah, he will have a second one out at home before the Reaper goes in. So, this so doctor... there's nothing at home. He should probably have thrown down a bunker. Now yeah. it will be quite hard to deny the Stalker. Defend here. Yeah. Some of them have become more and more popular as well to just move out with the Stalkers early on. See if you can do this one. Yeah. Denying. This is and... very standard. Yeah. So it kills marines in three hits, which is very strong. Yeah. So. Oh, don't let him okay. in! Oh. No! I uh, need to pull a CV. So. Uh, uh, you yeah. should probably pull oh. some SCVs here and try to get a bunker up. Yeah. So. But yeah, like the other stalker was home, I think he can just. Uh, like, hold with this now. Might have been a good idea to not waste any uh, mining time on that. Even if it lost a uh, marine to it. Or two marines, I guess. Yes. Um, so yeah, Squiddy take. Oh! He's going for Robot Twilight this time, uh, speaking up the build. Uh, so, not gonna be the same target like he was doing before. Uh, see how this deals. Yeah. Stalker is so annoying uh, if you don't get the bunker. <laughs> mm. I feel like now the bunker is almost mandatory in the, yeah, in the build. Um... Or get early cyclones. So he's mm. going second barracks. He should probably get a tech lab and stim there, but. Is the club oh, going look down? at this a gateway explosion. Oh yeah. This is gonna be a two base timing. Price is not taking more gases so only second yeah. I guess he doesn't need it for this kind of push. Yeah, it's upgrading adept so it's gonna probably gonna be mass adept here. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the Drismus isn't much uh, or he hasn't built any mortals yet, so uh, he won't be adding on that I think. It's just mass adept. With a dish. Oh well, I guess he didn't do it. Oh, did he shine behind it, I guess? Interesting. Ooh. There are t uh, turrets up already for soon. Uh, I don't really like the DT shrine, I think he should just go mass cape for units here. Yeah, it's so all. Might be and a very expensive that I he think will probably I have a bunch of guys. Yeah, I feel Blink is stronger than Adepts right now. Yeah. Like, always go Stalkers. Yeah, so it can be hard to get in here though, with Starkers I assume, which might be his thought process, I don't know. Perhaps. Uh, but yeah, there so is no siege tank. So it's a bit slate on good. stem, but since it's adept, maybe he has a chance. Yeah. Okay, well, he did scout now with SV, I guess. Uh, but he he did not scout the main base, so... Okay, but yeah, he, he's reacting now... to the third, so yeah. Try to shut the dice. Yeah, dice got the stalkers in the beginning, that's good. Yeah. Oh, I need to pull some SVs here, yeah. Oh no, he's not pulling into the bunker. Oh, he is now. Oh, okay, nice, nice, nice. nice, nice. Well nice. Done. That's good. See if he can get up those Still bunkers. Uh, yeah, he's gonna be able to get us up. Oh, one is falling though. He needs to repair that. Repair the bunker. No. Okay, but he still has two up. Uh, he There's to a DT though. in the mix, but he has the turret up, so that's good. Yeah, excellent. That's gonna be getting picked up. Gun done now. The scans. Oh, with the mice out. Uh, it's gonna be 
what it's called, like uh, pulling in some units into the main now though. Yeah. It's gonna be hard to deal with. Um, so we got lots of adept swapping in. And uh, uh, rip. shading Supply in the as well. Up. Uh, yeah. rip. Uh, shoot you. That was a difficult hold. Yeah, I saw. Alright, All right, thank you. I will play. go uh, to my match. Yep, indeed. Um, I can't. I